Hello students, we are going to continue our lesson by solving some types of quadrilaterals, okay? So yes, in our previous lesson, we were learning about the perimeter and area of um, various basic shapes like the square, the rectangle, the triangle, and then a circle. Now, today we are going to take a look at various types of quadrilaterals, okay? So we are going to take a look at the parallelogram, the trapezium, the rhombus, and then the kite. And we are going to learn how to find the perimeter and area of those various types of quadrilaterals. Now, when we pick a parallelogram, okay? So a parallelogram, for a parallelogram, we know we have two opposite sides, parallel, so these two opposite sides are parallel. So if I have A, B, C, D, okay? With height H, okay? We are saying that a parallelogram is a four-sided figure such that its opposite sides are parallel. So you can see that the opposite sides over here are parallel, okay? And the perimeter is equal to, the perimeter is equal to the sum of the given length which is the sum of AD plus the length of DC plus the length of BC plus the length of what? Um, BA, okay? So this will give us the perimeter, the distance around the parallelogram, okay? Now, if this is the height H and this is the base B, okay? We are saying that the area of a, uh, the area we are saying that the area of a parallelogram is equal to half times the base times the height, okay? So we are saying the area is equal to the length of base, which is the length of the base AD, which is this base, times what? The height, okay? So the height is the perpendicular height we have here, H. Now, note that the height must be at right angles to the base, okay? The, the height would be at right angle to the base over here before you can find the height. Now we can move on to the trapezium. So we can move on to the trapezium. And for the trapezium, a trapezium is also a four-sided figure. So if I should draw a trapezium here, so assuming this is a trapezium and this is A, and this is B, and this is parallel to this. You know, they are both parallel, okay? But one length of the parallel side is longer than the other, okay? Now, and if this is the height H, assuming this is the height H of the trapezium, okay? If this is the height H, we are saying that if this is also the side, um, let's say C and then D. Now, a trapezium is a four-sided plane figure which has one pair of opposite sides parallel but unequal. So these two pairs of sides are parallel, but they are unequal. They don't have the same length, okay? Now, the perimeter is equal to, the perimeter of a trapezium is equal to A plus B plus C plus D, okay? So it is the addition of the length of each side, which, which will give us what? The perimeter. Then the area, the area of a trapezium is equal to, we have the half, okay, half multiplied by the sum of parallel sides. So half multiplied by the sum of parallel sides times the height, okay? So times the height. So we shall have half times now, the sum of our sides is what? A plus B. So, A plus B times H. Okay? So, this will give us the area of a trapezium. And then, this is the perimeter of a trapezium. Then, we move on to a rhombus. Okay? Now, I like rhombus so much because it has all sides equal. So, we talk about the rhombus. So, a rhombus looks more like a square. But it is, uh, let me say, the angles are not right angles, 
okay the angles in there are not right angles but they bisect at what right angles okay so a rhombus when we talk about a rhombus okay we can draw a four-sided figure so this is equal to this this is also equal to this so assuming this is a rhombus okay a rhombus is a rhombus is a parallelogram with equal sides okay and then the opposite angles are equal so assuming i should bisect the rhombus okay if i should bisect it okay what we are saying is they meet at what 90 degrees here okay they meet at 90 degrees so if i should find a perimeter and this is a rhombus of a b c d if these are the vertices we are saying that the perimeter the perimeter is equal to rhombus it's a four-sided figure okay with all four sides equal so if this is length 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 and length we are saying that the perimeter will be equal to 4l which is l plus l plus l plus l okay which will be 4l and then its area the area of a rhombus is given to us by we have the half times the product of diagonals the half times the product of diagonals okay so we have half times the product of diagonals is this and this or we can have the area to be equal to we shall have the area to be equal to the length of base times the height the length of base times the height the length of base times the height the area is equal to half times the product of diagonals or the area is equal to the length of base times height then we move on to a kite okay the kite so when we talk about the kite okay let's draw a kite first so we could see if this is a kite so we have opposite sides adjacent sides equal okay and then they bisect each other over here at 90 degrees okay so if this is a b c d okay we are saying that a kite a kite is a four-sided figure in which two pair of adjacent sides are equal so you can see two pair of adjacent sides are what equal now you realize that for a kite the diagonals are what lines of what symmetry okay our line of symmetry are the diagonals okay so we can have a line of symmetry here which divides this into two and a line of symmetry here okay so we are saying that our line of symmetry bisects each other at 90 degrees okay now the perimeter of a kite the perimeter of a kite is equal to a b the length of a b plus the length of b c plus the length of um, DC plus the length of what? DA or AD, okay? So this is how we find the perimeter or the length around a kite. And then its area is given to us by half times the product of diagonals, okay? Product of diagonals. So this will give us the area of what a kite and this gives us the perimeter of a kite so with this we are going to solve some more examples under um, areas and perimeters okay